Hi there, welcome to Elevate Wellness. I am Coach Latanya. I have over 20 years in the fitness and wellness space, and every day I help people online achieve their fitness and wellness goals through programs, products, and services. This video is for those who are, who've been eating on plan, not really deviate, deviating from your plan at all. You're doing your workouts, maybe even increasing your workouts and not finding that you're losing weight you're finding that maybe your belly is actually protruding, not understanding why. And you not only may you not be losing weight, but you actually may be gaining weight. You're holding on. It's just not budging, right? Your weight is not budging. It's not moving in spite of the, all of your efforts, right? And so sometimes that could be stress belly. Now, if you have been experiencing this, stay tuned. Before we get started, I apologize. I did not get, I was not able to get the video up yesterday. I've done, I don't know how many takes, at least six takes, trying to get this video out to you. The lighting, I had technical uh, difficulties yesterday. First day of school, was just so much going on. So I tried and it was nine o'clock or 8.30 last night. Um, I threw in the towel. Um, I think this is take number seven now. So I think this video a little late, but I still hope that it serves you well. So stress belly is really influenced by an, a spike in cortisol and um, it throws the hormones out of whack, right? The hormonal imbalance. So stress belly, hormonal belly is, tip, is, is ideally the same thing um, because stress belly is... Um, influenced by hormonal imbalance caused by um, several different things. A few examples is adrenal fatigue. That was something that I experienced um, and had to heal from. Um, uh, being underslept, not sleeping very well for a set number of days. Toxic ingredients that we um, put on our skin from our cosmetics can also cause um, hormonal imbalance, thyroid issues, um, estrogen dominance, those are a few things that can um, cause hormonal imbalance, all right? And there's such a wealth of information I wanted to share with you that I cannot do it all in one video. So my plan is to do cover a topic each week, but I'm going to discuss them briefly and then cover them each week, okay? So no, nutrition is important, right? Because food is medicine. Food can be medicine. So food is very important because it's going to um, encourage our bodies or, or dictate how our bodies um, respond. Um, nourishing foods is going to be very, very important. Cosmetics, going to more cleaner versions of cosmetics. This is why I started my my wellness products because my beauty and wellness products because um, when I experienced adrenal fatigue it took me about three years to recover from that one of the things I had to do is back away from all of the stuff that I was buying in the store slathering on my skin but I never even thought about looking into the ingredients until I got sick and um, that really was an eye-opener for me stress is something that is part of, it's a part of life right it really is and you know, I get bad news. I have bad days. Yesterday was a highly frustrating day because I was trying to get this video done and edited and it's just one thing after another just could not get it done. Um, but it's how we reframe and it's how we, um, the mindset that really can dictate which direction we go in because um, whatever direction we go in, in our mind sends signals to our body. And exercise is a, uh, a way for your body to experience good stress right? Because we're challenging the body, we're moving the body. That's called phormesis. It's a good stress. But even too much exercise can be detrimental for your health. And so it's important to understand what type of exercise, how much you should be participating in, and what actually works best for you. This is why I do not tell you, you need to do this because it's not fair to you. It's a disservice for me to tell you what you need to do. And I have not talked to you. I don't know what your lifestyle is like. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what, um, you know, I don't know your ability. I don't know anything. If you want more help in this area and you want to customize wellness plan, you can work with me by going over to latanyabaruk.com and booking a wellness session with me. You and I will chat and I'll be happy to work with you and create a plan for you. 
Those are the, those are the topics that we're going to cover in the coming weeks. Today, the topic that we're going to cover is food. Okay? And so with food, we know that uh, whole foods are um, highly nourishing because they're nutritionally dense. If you've watched any of my coaching videos, you know that I'm all about the whole food diet. You also know that I don't recommend any specific diet for anyone unless we've talked, but I recommend that you look at your macros and kind of determine um, what macro fits you the most, what macro um, helps you in your, issue, in your issue or your situation the most. What do you need, right? Do you need more fats? Do you need more proteins? Do you need more complex carbs? Everybody is a little bit different. Our lifestyle, our age, our stage, all of so many different factors, even medications, right? And so it's important to understand your body and how to fuel it in the way that you enjoy more energy and you enjoy wellness. That also takes me into the next category, which is organic food. I know organic food is expensive. I know, I know it's more expensive. Um, and this is why you can always, you can also grow some of your food. Grow bags, okay? And you can grow lettuce in grow bags, spinach in grow bags, watermelon in grow bags. Um, if you have like a small porch or a small balcony, you can put a few things. You can even grow um, different varieties of tomatoes in grow bags, um, even cucumbers in grow bags. I did it this, this year. So if you have cucumbers, lettuce, tomatoes, green peppers, watermelon, you have something to work with and you can put it all in grow bags, okay? It can be organic. You don't have to spray it with anything um, and it can serve you quite well. So if you don't want to invest in the organic food, at least take a break from it, you can try you know, doing some things in some grow bags and go right on your porch, your back porch, your balcony, your front porch, wherever you are. Um, whatever works best for you, okay? Now, um, organic food is important because it's not being sprayed with these toxic pesticides, right? Um, and so looking for things that are, especially when you're, when you're eating the skin, like the cucumbers, if you eat the skin of the cucumbers and it's being sprayed or the apples, the pears and things like that, then you wanna be careful um, about ingesting those, those toxins. Now, again, do the best you can because I know that, you know, the, the prices in the supermarkets are have increased. I understand that I'm out there shopping too, trying to get the best uh, deals uh, to feed my family, do it over time. All right. So we talked about the whole foods. We talked about organic foods. Um, healthy fats is so important because healthy fats help to balance hormones. When I had adrenal fatigue, stress belly was on the regular, right? Um, stress belly was something that the, the cortisol was, so, was spiked and every, my, my, my hormones were just thrown off. Healthy fats help to absorb the vitamins A, D, E, and K, all right? Now, if you think about the vitamin E, we see this in skincare products. Vitamin E is a great oil, it's a great fat. Um, it promotes um, healthy skin, healthy hair, healthy nails, but also balancing those hormones as well. Okay, now vitamins e, A, D, E, and K are fat soluble, which means they need fat in order to, um, to work. And a lot of times what happens is these vitamins get trapped into our fat and they're not released. So again, this is why those, those, those toxic ingredients in our skincare and beauty products can actually be detrimental to our weight loss goals. I know it sounds crazy, but you can do the research. There's so much information and so much research that um, has, has been studied on this information. Caffeine is another one. You know, I get it, but caffeine can also stimulate a stress response in the body and cause that. I noticed for myself that when I would have that second cup of coffee, here comes a stress belly. And I didn't understand it because why am I eating so clean? I'm doing all of the things I know to do. I know what I'm doing works. It works for the people I work with. So why am I having this belly issue? Caffeine, too much caffeine can also trigger that response in the body. Meal prep. I recommend doing meal prep to my clients. I do meal prep as well. And I'm thinking about doing a video um, for you guys to see what is it like to do meal prep for a family, okay? Uh, because it's a little bit different. And um, But if you are already doing meal prep and you're doing your meal storage, 
I recommend using more of the glass instead of the, the plastics. Um, I know there's a lot of BPA free plastics and things like that, but then what are they being replaced with? Are the, the, the materials that they're replacing these plastics with just as harmful, just as toxic? Um, I'm from the Carolinas and right now North Carolina is experiencing, um, and I'll put that link below too, it's, it's, it's heart wrenching. Um, but North Carolina is experiencing uh, these companies dumping these plastics or these, these uh, forever chemicals into the water and causing cam uh, cancer. Um, now, the, of course, those companies are denying that they, um, the, that they are the reason why so many people are developing cancer, but it's horrendous what these um, citizens have gone through in, in this area. And so I don't trust plastics. I don't trust um, just because you replaced or taken out the BPA, then it doesn't mean that you, something that you replaced it with is helpful to my body. All of those things can be triggering um, a stress response in the body. It can actually cause it's a toxic load or a toxic burden to the body with the, um, the plastics, ingredients we put on our skin, highly processed foods, all of that can really be stressful on the body. It can throw off our hormones and it can cause stress belly, okay? Now, I know that there was a lot that I covered, but I hope that I was able to rein it in and make it um, clear that um, stress belly is not weight gain. Stress belly is a response to the, um, what the, to our environment. It, it uh, increases cortisol. Candles is another big one as well, and I'll cover this in the cosmetic section, but this is a coconut candle, coconut shell candle, soy wax um, with a cotton wick, right? Soy wax. I made these myself. I made this a long time ago. I think this is like, oh my, probably 10 years old at least. Um, but I burned the soy wax. Uh, I make the soy wax candles. I don't know. I might make them in my collection this year. Um, and it, it smells beautiful. It smells clean. Um, but these artificial fragrances that we're breathing in, these artificial fragrances that we're breathing in, the type of wicks that we're burning in our home, there's no ventilation. I know it's pretty and I know it smells good, but do your research, okay? We're inhaling these things and it's important not just for us our families and our pets as well they're breathing it in as well all of these things in our environment and i know that we are exposed to so much right now i'm fully aware i'm living in this world and not under a rock i promise but this is why the um eating whole foods right because food is medicine and meditation and prayer because it brings down the stress response in the body and so um, all of these things are um, a part of elevating wellness. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment. Let me know what stood out to you. Is there anything that you want to, um, you want me to talk more of? Like I said, in the coming weeks, I'm planning on um, going into greater detail with each of the topics that I mentioned today. If you've already subscribed to this channel, I wanna thank you so much for subscribing and being a member here. I really appreciate you and I hope these videos are serving you well as you elevate wellness. For those of you who enjoyed this video and you're still on the fence, not quite sure if you should subscribe, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that notification bell the next time I upload a video. So the next time I upload videos like this, you will be among the first to be notified. Until next time, live beautiful.